Merkel and Trump begin key talks at White House. German Chancellor Angela Merkel has arrived at the White House for a key summit with President Donald Trump. NATO, trade and Ukraine are sure to be discussed but the focus will also be on how two leaders with hugely contrasting ideas and leadership styles interact. Mr. Trump has called Mrs. Merkel's migration policy catastrophic, while she has criticized his planned travel ban on several mainly Muslim nations. The visit was scheduled for Tuesday but had to be postponed due to a snowstorm. Ahead of Friday's talks, Mrs. Merkel told the German newspaper she was looking forward to her first meeting with President Trump. It's always better to talk with each other than about each other, she told Saarbrücker Zeitung. The leaders will hold more than two hours of talks, followed by a working lunch and joint press conference. The summit has been highly anticipated given that the two leaders have publicly differed on several key issues. In January, Mr. Trump said the German Chancellor had made a catastrophic mistake by allowing hundreds of thousands of refugees and migrants into Germany. And when Time magazine chose her as its Person of the Year in 2015 instead of him, Mr. Trump said she was ruining Germany. However, he has also said in the past she is a leader he greatly respects. He also has German ancestry. His grandfather emigrated to the U.S. in 1885 at the age of 16 from the town of Karlstadt, about 50 kilometers, 30 miles, southwest of Frankfurt. For her part Mrs. Merkel has criticized President Trump's controversial travel ban that targets the citizens of several mainly Muslim countries. In her first telephone conversation with Mr. Trump after he took office, she explained that the Geneva Convention obliges signatories, including the U.S., to take in refugees of war on humanitarian grounds. Mrs. Merkel also had a strong relationship with Barack Obama. His final call to a foreign leader as president was said to be to Mrs. Merkel, thanking her for her leadership. BBC Berlin correspondent Jenny Hill says Mrs. Merkel and Mr. Trump are also two leaders with hugely different styles, he is flamboyant, impetuous and prone to rhetoric, while she is reserved, pragmatic and lingers over decisions. Our correspondent says Angela Merkel needs to walk a diplomatic tightrope. She has to build a working relationship with Mr. Trump without appearing to sacrifice her own values or disappoint those keen to cast her as the West's last defender of those democratic ideals. This first meeting comes as she prepares for an election battle later in the year, seeking a fourth term as chancellor. Trade will be a key issue for the summit. During his presidential campaign, Mr. Trump threatened higher import taxes for countries such as Germany that have a trade surplus over America. Mrs. Merkel is being accompanied by top executives from German companies Siemens, Schaffler and car giant BMW and will point out the large direct German investment in the United States. She said BMW's plant in the United States exported more cars than GM and Ford together from the United States, adding, I'll make that clear. On Friday morning, Economy Minister Brigitte Zipries said Germany could file a suit against any hike in import duties at the World Trade Organization WTO. There are procedures laid out there because in the WTO agreements it is clearly laid out that you're not allowed to take more than 2.5% taxes on imports of cars, M. Zipries told Deutschland Funk Radio, Mr. Trump has suggested a 35% levy. It wouldn't be the first time that Mr. Trump has lost in the courts, she added. NATO will also be on the agenda. Mr. Trump has insisted members pay their fair share. Only four nations currently reach the benchmark of spending 2% of GDP on defense. Germany is not among them. The agenda is also expected to cover foreign policy issues involving Russia, Syria, Iran, North Korea and the Middle East peace process. Process.